So I took my son to the playground the other day and playgrounds have changed a lot since I was a kid. Unrecognisable, I walk in, now playgrounds for children are made entirely of soft foam. Bright colours, everything's made out of foam, including the ground is now made out of foam. I come from a different generation. I grew up in the 70s and 80s. A time when playgrounds were designed to fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah, you remember those? Walking death traps. In the 1980s, you would walk into a playground and look at the monkey bars for too long and snap your arm. <laughs> now, I go there with my son, we sit down. They've got on the seesaw now, they've got a spring underneath it which restricts the height so that nobody can be in danger of having fun, right? <laughs> So you sit down, I'm there with my son, I go, okay, if this can go exactly four centimetres off the ground, my turn, your turn. My turn, your turn. Isn't this fun? In the 80s, seesaw? Mm, no, try catapult. Remember those big dirty things? A massive plank of wood and then some unfeasibly stupid metal bars at the end of it. Just metal bars right at the end of it. And then one of your friends would voluntarily sit at that end. Then you would climb the monkey bars and jump off and BAM! There's your new vagina. <laughs> and the swing. What a death trap that was in the 1980s. Totally designed to kill. For starters, no soft nerfy poles. No massive Iron chains, just huge things, like off a ship, like massive anchor iron chain, Game of Thrones style iron chains, just hanging there, unnecessarily large chains. And this chain would support a seat, and when I say seat, of course I mean a car tire cut in half. <laughs> half a car tire with all the metal threading still exposed to cut off your tiny balls. <laughs> And even then, that wasn't dangerous enough for us. We were looking to make it even more dangerous, to make it fun, right? So we'd look at the swing and go, oh, I mean, how do I increase the chances of death here? <sighs> Sitting on it, or I know, I could stand on the bastard. <laughs> Remember that? You didn't sit in swings in the age. You stood on them, grabbed those massive hulking chains and just gave it a massive roost. Jeez, you'd give swings a go in those days. Not like now, where they're like seven feet off the ground. In the 80s, they were 190 feet off the ground. And you would give it the biggest roosters and tuck your knees in, getting higher and higher, higher and higher. And everybody knew that if you just got high enough, eventually you would get to the point where you could go right over the top, yeah? Yeah, because that could never not work out. How many people here know someone who successfully went right over the top? No one, because they're dead. <laughs> you knew it was probably going to be fatal, but you'd give it another go anyway. you go, you know what? I've got a good feeling about today. So you would get into your little bucket swing and you'd give it a huge roost, building up the momentum, getting higher and higher, just higher and higher. Now you're getting some really extreme altitude until eventually you get to the point where you arc and something kind of changes, yeah? The chain gets a little bit of slack in it. Yeah, yeah, remember that? Remember that little sick feeling you got in your tummy? Because the chain would then snap back into tension and you would go flying right off the front and bam! And you would be bleeding and there's teeth everywhere and you're a mess and your own little kid just go, oh my God, I'm just gonna get down to the taps. If I just get down to the taps, maybe everything will be okay. I'll get down there and I'll get some water and I'll wash it away and maybe I still have a face. <laughs> maybe it's still there. Who knows, let's go down there. And you would run. You'd bolt from the back of school all the way down to the drink taps. Running with your tiny little legs. You get down there, you get to the big drink trough and you pull down, go up to the handle and you pull down on the drink tap and there's a fucking twig. <laughs> shoved into the drink tap. What utter cockbag puts a twig into a drink tap? It was me, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much. Good night. <laughs>